Look deep into nature and you understand everything better. Welcome to Zimbabwe, 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 the house of stones, a melting pot of cultures. A landlocked sub-Saharan Southern African country located between Zambezi and Limbopo rivers, acclaimed for its dramatic landscapes and diverse wildlife. A world of wonders, a place I call home. I am Jemima Mandemwa, a 21-year-old environmental activist and a finance undergraduate student hailing from the evergreen Manikaland province, the mountainous region of Zimbabwe. I share this home with more than 300 species of mammals, 500 species of birds, and 131 species of fish, some of which are endangered species. Zimbabwe supports the second largest population of elephants in Africa, a growing pack of wild dogs as well as animals listed in the Big Five, including the lions, buffaloes, leopards, and the rhinoceros. Zimbabwe is plagued by various environmental concerns, including climate change, land degradation, deforestation, inadequate quantity and quality of water resources, air pollution, and solid waste a challenge that's the center of my activism. In 2021, I started a movement called Let's Talk Green Zimbabwe, which mainly focuses on inclusive education towards environmental sustainability. I've managed to partner with the Forestry Commission of Zimbabwe, rural communities, and the Environmental Management Agency in my country. A number of notable initiatives have been implemented to address these concerns some of which I have also spearheaded. On the 5th of December 2018, our president declared that every first Friday of each month shall be National Cleanup Day in need of promoting a clean, safe and healthy environment. All countries in all corners of the world are faced with pressing environmental challenges and competing priorities. The environmental concern that unites us all is climate change. If I'm honored as Miss Environment International Queen, my mission and core message will be to promote the unifying message from the COP26 Climate Summit, which seems to encourage nature-based solutions at the center if tackling the global climate change crisis. Let us work together to take care of the Earth, for it is not inherited from our parents, but borrowed from our children. 